a train with a velocity of 16 meters per second stops with a uniform acceleration in 32 seconds. Okay, so let's continue with the pattern we've been doing this with by first checking out all of the information that we have. They tell us that a train has a velocity of 16 meters per second. What velocity, initial or final? That is definitely the initial velocity okay, of 16 meters per second. Then it says it stops with a uniform acceleration. Okay, so it stops means that its final velocity is zero. Okay, and it stops with a uniform acceleration. That just tells us that the acceleration is constant. Okay, in 32 seconds. So they give us delta t is equal to 32 seconds. Now with all of this, we need to go and calculate according to question A, what is the acceleration of the train? So we need a question with VI, VF, delta T, and A. If we look through these questions, we see, aha, uh -huh, here is one, and this one and that one is actually exactly the same. So either one of these two will give us the correct answer. Let's use that one, or actually let's use this one because A is already solved in this question. So we write down our formula, our next step. If we were doing this as written work, this is the... Um, order we will do it in so we take our future value sorry our future velocity minus our initial velocity divided by our change in time future velocity being 0 minus 16 over 32 that if we solve it we get 0 minus 16 is negative 16 over 32 and that I can do in my head is negative 0 comma 5 meters per second squared. Now here we notice that our acceleration is negative and that makes sense because this velocity is decreasing. We can see from 16 it's going to 0 which means we have a decreasing velocity or something coming to rest.